Hi, I'm Doug Black, Editor-in-Chief of Inside HPC. And today, as part of our series of interviews around the Dell Technologies HPC community, we're speaking with Terry Pellegrino. He is Dell Technologies VP and GM of HPC. Uh, Terry, welcome. It's great to be with you today. Thanks, Doug. So um, why don't we start off, tell us a little bit about your background in HPC, how you got into the industry and uh, your experience as the leader of HPC strategy at Dell Technologies. Yeah, absolutely, Doug. Uh, but before we get into the topic, I just wanted to take a minute to remember um, Rich, uh, the late founder of Inside HPC. Uh, it's still uh, fathomable to think that he's no longer with us. Uh, he had uh, a huge impact on the industry, and I just want to take a minute to remember him and uh, think about his family. Oh, thank you, Terry. Thank you. So, Doug, to your question, uh, I've been in the industry for over 20 years, and it's been a really interesting journey. My background is in engineering, and I, I feel that uh, HPC is really um, based on a lot of technology, so an engineering background is important. Uh, but I also feel like I've been uh, in the HPC world all my life. Uh, the, the whole world is, is morphing into the HPC uh, focus, but HPC has been at the core of a lot of discussions since day one. Uh, it, to me, HPC is also about uh, the community that uh, we're building. So my background in uh, engaging customers and understanding uh, not only IT, but the world of uh, performance, technology, and innovation has also really helped me in my role. Uh, so it's been over four years now, and it's been a, a great journey, and I, I really love this community, and it's uh, really a passion for me at this point. Great, that's great stuff. The, uh, tell us a little bit about some of the more exciting uh, projects you're involved with these days. Well, the, the first thing I want to recognize, uh, and all of you that are listening to uh, probably know that better than, uh, than all of us, uh, COVID-19 has had a really big impact on our uh, society. And uh, what really gets me excited is to think about how Dell Technologies and the, the HPC organization at Dell Technologies has been able to help our community around enabling infrastructure and solutions to go and create more uh, research and go find a cure for this virus and hopefully get our society back to the new normal as close to the way we were in the past as possible. So namely, um, you've all heard about the engagement we've had with uh, TAC here in Austin has allowed us to build a really impressive uh, system called Frontera uh, that system has been used and leveraged to help with that uh, search against uh, COVID-19. Um, we've also had a pretty large deployment in Italy uh, with ENI, and that's also been leveraged for COVID-19. Uh, and then just something close to us, uh, our own organization in our HPC and AI Innovation Lab here in Austin uh, has uh, one, one f fairly sizable cluster, the Zenith cluster, and we've uh, given cycles to customers and companies that are in the uh, healthcare space and genomic research, uh, like TGen, for example, to continue to go after that uh, search for a cure. Tell us uh, to the, you know, it's such a competitive world that, uh, that you're involved in. What, what, what would be the key strategic distinctions to Dell Technologies HPC product strategy? It's a good question, uh, and it's it's one that uh, I've really uh, made an effort to try to keep true to our values year after year. Uh, we have a three-prong approach to our strategy. Uh, it's it's fairly simple, but it's very meaningful. Uh, we want to democratize HPC, we want to optimize HPC, and we want to advance HPC and AI. Um, and what that means is that uh, Today, there is so much technology and advancement that we can make uh, solutions and systems available, technology available to our customers, uh, so they can build their own or we can build HPC systems for them. We also want to continue to innovate 
uh, pushing the envelope on technologies. We were the first ones to launch with Melnox the HDR interconnect uh, that uh, they had uh, spearheaded. Uh, we also want to continue to uh, advance HPC in the sense that there are really unique features in software, in hardware, but also in, in deployment and automation that allow our customers uh, to get their, their, their systems set up so they can uh, do their research, run their science, or run their company. And uh, we want to have those features at the forefront of everything that, that we build in the broader company. Uh, so we're influencing internally. We're ensuring that HPC is a key way that we design our products and our solutions. Okay. Uh, what is your um, perspective on the current state of the HPC industry? Hyperion Research last week came out with their latest market update. Uh, they stated that overall demand is down pretty significantly, That, but that once, uh, assuming we get a COVID-19 vaccine uh, and more effective treatments in place next year, that uh, a rebound should be on the way. Is, is um, is that how you sort of see, that, see things generally? Yeah, Doug, definitely we have seen the impact of COVID-19 in the first half of this year. Uh, and all the information that's been made publicly available, it's, it's there, it's visible. Uh, now, don't know, I can't predict if we're gonna have a vaccine end of this year, next year, or when that will be available. But uh, what, I, what I feel is that um, COVID-19 set aside, technology advancement, uh, customers' appetite to continue to lead their research, the digital transformation, all of those trends are at the core fueling more HVC and AI innovation, fueling more investments from customers. So I, I think regardless of when the virus is going to be uh, controlled and the vaccine found, I think there's good potential for continued uh, growth. Um, and Hyperion Research has also stated that, that once we get past this lull, uh, we'll see the, the growth that was expected prior to COVID-19. Uh, but it, it's more than just finding a cure for the virus. It's uh, the fact that technology focus and, and uh, uh, our customers' interest in uh, continuing to uh, leverage HPC and AI systems to do what they're best at doing is still there. Okay, great. Uh, let's hope that's the case. Um, now, um, with regard to Dell Technologies HPC community meetings, we know you're very generous with um, your time at events like this. What value do you see in uh, cross-disciplinary events like like the community meetings? Yeah, Doug, it's it's really at the core of what we want to promote that the democratization, but also the innovation that comes out of uh, the, those events. The, the Dell HPC community meeting came out of an idea and uh, a concept that the community is at the core of the innovation. And, and you know, I keep using the term community, but uh, you have to be part of that HPC community to understand what I mean. We, we all know each other, technology providers, uh, and the, the, the companies are leading HPC and AI uh, and our customers. And for, for the Dell technology customers, we wanted to create this, uh, this, this forum and this community event where we could all come together. And this is not about a sales pitch. It's about uh, sharing problem statements, understanding where technology is headed, what are the advantages out of some of those advance advancements, what are some of the gaps that are still there, and uh, together try to create a, um, a set of uh, objectives and at times collaboration exercises so we can further science, innovation, and our ability to continue to make progress. I'll give you one example. Uh, about two years ago, we had a, an HPC community event where we were talking about the advancements of uh, um, NVMe and standards-based uh, storage solutions. And uh, with the University of Cambridge uh, in England, we uh, thought about a collaboration effort with our partners at Intel, where we would promote a data accelerator proof of concept. Um, we uh, put our hearts and minds together, and uh, we were able to create a couple of uh, 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 test runs. We topped the IO 500, and uh, now there's going to be an offering that uh, we're going to have for general purpose uh, customers. But th that's the type of discussion that can take place. And, and one last thing that I'll uh, mention is 
between the members of that community a lot of collaboration. When you see two companies or two research institutions comparing notes, uh, to me, it's beautiful. Science gets furthered. HPC gets more purpose. We make progress. We innovate. And it's, it's better for our society. Yeah, hearts and minds makes for a good collaboration, you'd have to say. Um, well, Terry, thanks so much for your time today. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Great. Thank you so much, Doug. Thanks.